How's it going guys? I'm your host Karban Sabers. Welcome back to another lightsaber unboxing and showcase video and today we are going to be unboxing and showcasing our cheapest lightsaber model yet currently. Okay, so that is the Darth Revan Go version. Okay, so this is the Xenopixel variant and this is what you get inside the box. So we get a nice seal. It's going to be wrapped in another layer of plastic. I already unwrapped it because I'm doing the updating of the sound card for the client. Okay, here there's some uh, protection foam. Okay, inside you'll get a pack of uh, Allen key along with some set screws for your blade retention USB charging cable recommend everyone to charge this using your PC only anything above 5 volt 1 amps is going to fry your board So do not use this with any other power bricks. Okay, there is an instruction manual inside over here And then we have the Xeno pixel blade. Okay, it also comes standard with a blade plug Alright, so let's go ahead and look at this gorgeous saber. So this is the newer version. Okay, it's been updated. So instead of a uh, port SD, instead of a circular uh, charging port here, you have the USB charging port instead. All right. This is for all the newer versions, and this one comes with a Covertech view as well, which you can hang on your belt if you like. All right. So let's go ahead and power up the saber. Power on. This is a great entry point for anyone looking to get into the hobby. The Xenopixel variant of this is only 269.90 SGD. Very, very affordable. Okay, of course, we have an even cheaper uh, variant in the RGB version if you guys would prefer that for heavy dueling. Smooth swing. Okay, let's go ahead and put a blade in. I think that'll look a lot better, right? Okay, so let's put this blade in going to take out the blade cap over here if you guys want to see a full breakdown on all of the features that come with our xenopixel sabers you guys can go ahead and check out the video here the card will be in the top right hand corner of the screen right now okay I'm going to take out one set screw carefully make sure you don't lose any of them very very easy to lose them because they are super small so let me put this pack in first okay. So slide the blade in, make sure the saber is fully seated, okay, hold it there and then you want to put your set screw in here, okay. So there, it comes with a few different size set screws, I think this is the larger one so it's going to stick out a little bit. You don't want to tighten your blade uh, too much, okay, finger tight is sufficient, anywhere tighter than that you might leave ugly marks on your blade. If your blade comes out with some marks, uh, it's totally fine, that's normal, alright. Let's power. This is in bright daylight in a well lit room by the way my lights are also turned on so you can see just how bright this thing really is Okay I'm sure you guys can see the blaster block effects We have tip drag And then we have clashes let me try to do the clashing And then of course you have motion controls so twist off, and then we can change sound fonts. Final steps. So nice bright yellow. Okay. Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. So nice green. Can we also do step on? Codex of light. Codex of light. Right, okay, not sure if you guys can see the blade effects here, but very nice blade effects. Okay, and there are also soundtracks. Let me find a sound for Luke soundtrack. Skywalker. Yep, there's your soundtrack there. And not all sound fonts come with soundtracks, but um, some of them do, and all you have to do is twist your blade in order to hear the soundtrack. And then you can twist it again. So you can play the saber with the soundtrack on. Okay, just give it a quick twist, a quick twist again to turn off the soundtrack. And now let's go ahead and go downstairs, and I'll show you guys me swinging the saber around. <laughs> 